Look at the time of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. Some of the companions, like Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhum, he came out in order to harm Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Within a few moments, he became known as radiallahu anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. And he became known as one of the most powerful of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So much so that today, if we were to make mention of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, only the hypocrites will feel that that wasn't a good man. But everyone else knows that Umar ibn al-Khattab, if he were to walk down a gully, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Shaytan always walked down another gully. He didn't even want to come, to, he didn't even want to cross paths with him. To this day, it's only shayateen who dislike Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to defend the honor of the greatest to tread the earth after the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Immediately he became known as radiallahu an. The past is wiped out, it's gone, it's forgiven, it's forgotten. He started a new leaf. The same applies to every one of us. Lesson we draw, let's save ourselves. If you have a past, that is exactly what it is. P-A-S-T, past, it's gone, it's over. It is not today. Change yourself. Now you will earn the pleasure of Allah. Quit your bad ways and habits. No matter what it is, you know the bad habits of today. There are so many. The people are involved in them. Even if the whole world is doing it, if it is bad, I promise you quit it for the sake of Allah. Your past will be just that. You will start a new relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will be similar to that of these people. These magicians who now became Muslimin, you know what Allah says for them? Subhanallah. I want to ask you a question. They were penalized after that. Whatever happened to them happened after that. They did not give up their faith. They lost their lives as a result of all this. You know what Allah says? We forgave them, we granted them highest ranks in paradise. I want to ask you a question. How many times did they prostrate for Allah? How many? One. One. They made one prostration for Allah. And Allah says, we wiped out whatever happened for them was Jannatul Firdaus. How many times do we prostrate for Allah? We don't even know. In each salah this evening, you would have to sit and count, right? Brothers and sisters, don't you agree with me? If even one of those is genuine and sincere, your entire past can be wiped out in the, in the same way. It's the same Allah we're talking about, right? Your conviction, don't give up your salah. Sometimes we are ashamed of reading our salah because you know, we're in an environment where maybe you know, these people might look at me and say, look at this person. No, do it with honor, with dignity. That is your salah. So what if they were to laugh at you for a little while? That is your jannah. These people were threatened. They were harmed. What he promised to do to them according to some narrations was done to them. They didn't give up. La dhair. We are not worried. There's nothing going to harm us. No harm. You're not going to be able to do anything to us. You can only do something in this world. As it is, we have to die. Whether at your hands or whether later on, we have to die. Subhanallah. Look at how they looked at it. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. What a powerful lesson to learn from these magicians. And like I say, a small act of worship, but it was genuine. It was sincere. And you know, my brothers and sisters, there are so many ahadith that prove that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks for an excuse to give you Jannah. Sometime in your life when it was very difficult to do something for the sake of Allah and you did it. You did it. How many times do we see of a hadith? I give you some examples. One hadith, a lady quenched the thirst of, or a lady was kind to a cat, so she achieved forgiveness. A man quenched the thirst of a dog, so he achieved forgiveness. What are these deeds? One of deeds. It doesn't mean that they were not decent people and so on. They must have been reasonable or they must have had a good heart. But Allah loved one specific deed. And he said for you is Jannah. This was, this was a lot. What about us? I'm sure sometimes there's something really difficult and you know what Allah wants from you. And you say, oh Allah, you know what? For you, I'm going to do this. That could just be your Jannah. I sometimes give an example of a scarf. It's not easy to put on hijab. But if you say, oh Allah, I'm going to endure just for you. Allah might decide to overlook everything else and say that was your sacrifice. It's possible. It is possible. But because we don't know which deed it is, we've got to keep on trying. So fulfill as best as you can, whatever you can. Keep on seeking the forgiveness of Allah to save yourself. One of the most powerful ways of saving ourselves from calamity in this world and the next is to ask Allah's forgiveness every day. This is why the Prophet ﷺ used to seek forgiveness up to 100 times a day when he did not even need it. 
We need it. But we don't even seek forgiveness of Allah. The whole month of Ramadan passed. Oh, hey, I forgot to seek forgiveness, man. You know, when someone is reading, Allahumma ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qulubana ala deenik, oh, Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna. Some of these supplications seeking forgiveness and steadfastness, sometimes we just pay lip service. Think about it for a moment. What am I saying? Oh Allah, forgive me. I quit my bad ways. My brothers and sisters, I invite you and myself to commence a beautiful new relationship with Allah and with His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Have a nice relationship. And inshallah, you will see the mercy descend in your life in every single way. Slowly but surely, the doors will begin to open. You will be a happier person, a healthier person, an asset to your family, your community and the ummah at large. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us.